Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to allow guest users in Experience Cloud site to upload files. This will allow um, external users to upload files though they are unauthenticated. So though they don't have a username and password to log in into Salesforce and upload the files, uh, using this Experience Cloud site, we can make that as a public site and uh, using guest user mode, we can allow uh, external users to upload files. <clears throat> so the first step in doing that is we have to go to general settings under Salesforce files and allow site guest users to upload files. So for the first step is we have to enable this option. Okay, next step is go to object manager, select content version, go to fields and relationships and create a custom field which will end with file upload underscore underscore C. You can give any name. I have used guest record. You can also give any name, but make sure it ends with file upload underscore underscore C. We are going to make use of a web component. <coughs> lightning web component to upload the files in the lightning web component uh, um, we are going to use a lightning file upload in the lightning file upload we can use this field uh, name and we can assign the value to it so that using a trigger we can make sure when the file is uploaded it is linked to the record to which you are planning to link it else what will happen is it will become a become an orphan file so it will not be linked to any uh, uh, records so let's uh, see how to do that next I have developed a simple trigger on the content version and the event is after insert in the after insert I'm iterating all the content version I'm making sure this record guest record file upload is not equal to null or blank. Once it is not blank, I'm creating a re record in the entity called content document link. And I'm using linked entity ID as the record ID that is passed to, th to this field. And I'm setting the content document ID as the content versions content document ID. So if a file is uploaded, we will have content document and also we will have content version in this content version we will have content document id that is the real file which is uploaded so once it is uploaded i am creating an entry into content document link so that the file will be linked to the record id that is passed into this field okay next step is in the experience cloud side builder i created a page called file upload and then I have set it to public and then I published my uh, experience cloud site in this video we are not going to see the lightning web component in detail but in the video description I will share the blog link so that you can get the lightning web component code so here in this account record I don't have any files so currently there are no files so this is the lightning web component which is which was added to this uh, uh, page called file upload so currently I'm not passing any value in the uh, uh, URL so I'm not passing any query parameters so it is saying incorrect URL please check with help desk for additional help but if I pass the record ID here I have passed the record ID here so it is displaying this attach files so I'm going to click upload files so I'm going to attach these two files I haven't logged in I'm in guest user mode I was able to upload the files two files uploaded successfully so now if I come here those files are attached to this account so through this uh, 
trigger it got attached to this account record for uh, more information on the lightning web component please check my video description i will definitely share my blog post so that you can use the same lightning web component which i used so using the using this uh, simple implementation as a guest user we were able to upload files and we were able to link those files to the respective record id I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.